Hello and welcome to TPM's 3-Minute Thursday. I've had lots of conversations around creating and sharing bills and materials via SolidWorks PDM. So in this TPM 3-Minute Thursday, I'm going to demonstrate how quickly PDM admins can define a bill of material column set and then make it available for various PDM user groups. Unless, of course, you'd prefer your users to manually enter all of this as double entry. An assembly's bill of materials is easily displayed on the bill of materials tab in the SOLIDWORKS PDM vault view. Users can configure them similar to SOLIDWORKS. Show me top level, parts list, indented, which configuration. SOLIDWORKS PDM adds the benefit of as built or latest version. Now what I'm really interested in here are the columns. How are those set up and who can see them? Let's take a look. In the admin tool, you'll find a bill of materials note. Here's where the admin defines what columns are visible to what groups of users. As you can see, it's quite easy to build these column sets and define their names in case you are wanting to export your bill of material and need something different than your PDM variable name. Let's make one that's just for the purchasing group. They'll have different bill of material column needs than the engineering group. The preview header is a great place to set the default column widths users will see. We'll also make sure the engineering group can't see the bill of material column set by adjusting the permissions. Once that is set, we can hop over into our PDM vault view and review it with an assembly model. Great! Now I have two different bill of material options for two different groups of users. If required, PDM users can now also take these and generate a bill of material Excel sheet very quickly. With the new purchasing bomb set, we don't have to spend the time reformatting our columns. And thank you for watching this 3 Minute Thursday video. I hope this video will help you reduce the amount of manual bill of material creation your team has to do. We'll see you next time.